So we're behind the scenes at the Reynolds uh, Museum here, and we've got uh, Byron Rissith and Noel, and of course, Minister here. And we're just outside the city of Wetaskiwin, uh, where the museum is. Uh, Noel, could you tell us a little bit about what's happening here? The museum is a, is a great place to work. It's fantastic for families, uh, ages of all kinds, because we really try to be interactive here. Interactive with the stories, interactive with people's experiences, and also to connect them in many different ways to the items that we hold because we try to pull together materials in our areas from the very start of automobiles and airplanes all the way up to the modern day. So what we try to do is connect to the heart, not just to the mind. We want to administer here to actually meet one of the uh, original family members, Byron Reynolds, who's uh, put his heart and soul into the, the museum here. Uh, yes, it's been a family passion for uh, uh, four generations. Uh, the collection started with my grandfather in 1910 when he came up from the States. and. Uh, was uh, really pushed by my Uncle Stan, who was one of the largest car dealers in Canada, and his motto was, we take anything on trade. And so uh, the collection was raised in a large part uh, by his efforts to taking all this obsolete machinery and aircraft and other things in. Uh, and of course, we never uh, got rid of any of it. We kept it, and at some point in time, uh, we collectively decided, uh, uh, wouldn't it be great to start a museum? So the original museum was opened in 1955, and uh, partnered with the provincial government in 1985, which resulted in the opening of this facility in 1992. Right now, it's the largest collection of its type in Canada and probably one of the premier collections of its type in the world. There is something for everyone here and pack up your family and bring them out to Atascoan, come and see this unbelievably beautiful museum. Uh, what you're seeing behind us here is just a portion of what's actually in storage. And so the actual museum is actually just directly in front of us where you can see all sorts of beautiful, beautiful machinery that has been restored. One of my favorite things you told us about, Byron, was that airplanes uh, once upon a time were made out of molded wood and fabric. So if you can imagine some of the airplanes that were actually used uh, during the wars were made out of wood and fabric and were fighting with huge military pieces and bombs in them. So there's just all sorts of really cool information. So make sure you pack up your family, bring your lunch, head out to Atascan. We hope to see you at the Reynolds Museum.